New and GetResponse 6 surveys are the ultimate way to gain valuable feedback from clients even if they're not already members of a contact list. Surveys are easy to set up and thanks to GetResponse the results can be analyzed and charted along with other account statistics. To get started, click Surveys in the dashboard or menu bar. Click View Survey List to see the existing surveys. Two surveys are listed in this account, one which is published and one which has not yet been published. Once a survey has been published, the URL address is shown to the right and it cannot be edited until the Unpublish button is clicked. The Close button will end the survey so that no further results can be collected. To edit an unpublished survey, just click the name. To create a new survey, go to Surveys in the menu bar and click Create New Survey. Enter a name to identify the survey and then a title and description which participants will see when they visit the page. The Thank You URL can be a web page where participants should be redirected after they complete the survey. Enter the URL address of a logo image here so that the survey page will appear more personalized. Click Next Step to begin designing the survey. Each survey can have multiple pages, which can be flipped through and added to using the tabs at the top. To the far right, Different question types are shown, which can be dragged and dropped into the pages of the survey. Multiple choice questions can have either radio buttons to select only one answer, or check boxes to select multiple answers. To change the questions and answers, click the Edit button to the right of each. In addition to a more detailed question, the Note field can provide further instructions for survey participants. The text for each answer can be customized. Click Remove button to eliminate answers and the Add button to enter more. Click to Make this field required for all participants. Change Type will switch between choosing one or multiple answers or to a drop-down box style for answer selection. Be sure to click the Save button for each question before proceeding to customize the next. To remove a question, click the X button to the right. Surveys can also be used to collect more detailed text answers from participants, either by single line or by paragraph. Click Choose Custom Field to have the answer of this question saved as one of your campaign's custom fields. For subscribed contacts, this will help to gain valuable contact details which can be used to group contacts and personalize outgoing emails. A standard form to subscribe to the email campaign can be dropped into the survey as well. This will allow new participants to join the contact list and also for existing contacts to update their details with any new custom fields they have answered. When finished designing the survey, click Save Survey at the bottom or Save and Publish to have it immediately made available online. A confirmation will display to show the survey has been successfully saved. To view the survey, Go to Surveys in the menu bar and click Survey List. Copy the URL address into a web browser to test it out. Participants will click Next Step at the bottom to proceed to the next page. To see the results of surveys, go to Statistics in the dashboard or menu bar and choose Survey Statistics. Select the survey to view using the drop-down list in the upper right. A general summary is displayed, including the total number of participants, plus how many completed or did not complete the full survey. 
click the Questions tab at the top to really start digging into the results. Each question appears in a separate group of statistical results with both a diagram and numerical totals. Click See More Details to show the individual names, if already part of your contact list, plus the date, time, and their geographic location. At the top right and bottom right, click to see the results for each page of the survey. For questions with a single line or paragraph answer, clicking See More Details will display the actual text results given by each contact. Linking to surveys in follow-up and newsletter messages is as simple as clicking the Add Survey button in the toolbar and then selecting from the list of published surveys.